Hey folks, Dave here, and welcome back to our Prussian campaign here in Napoleon Total War. We are playing as Prussia, and at the moment, a French force led by Napoleon himself is attacking our vassal state of uh, Hesse Castle. We are going to join them in their defense, and hopefully we can fight back this thankfully small army. It looks like our forces are deploying in this very cool and very foggy town. French forces are over here. Oh, that's actually... That is Hesse Castle's forces. I guess we're going to reinforce from some direction. One or more units in your army. Oh no, we're all the way in the back corner back here. Unfortunately, our allies have no cannons, but Napoleon's army definitely does. Oh, we're actually coming in on the side right here. Not bad. This is just a random unit of foot that's stuck back here in the back. Ooh, we have artillery. Let's get you on this hill right here. This is a six-pounder horse artillery, so we can run them into place. Napoleon's army is pretty clustered right now. Let's target their artillery, wherever that is. There it is. Napoleon's cavalry is making a charge for my allies kind of disarrayed lines here. And a little bit of my artillery hits him, it looks like. Let's send in my horse to assist. Oh, my artillery actually deployed back here. And it's firing through my own lines. Thanks, guys. It's actually very hard to see out here with all this smoke and fog.
Okay, artillery, get over here. On this hillside. We have an opening to go for their cannon. Let's take it. Oh, our ally is charging in here. Very nice. Let's send my dragoons after Napoleon himself. Who is exposed in the kind of U-shape in between me and my allies' armies. We have killed their general, sir. Now they must break. All right. Napoleon has been injured, and back to France he goes. Unfortunately, our allied general has died as well. We're actually mopping up quite nicely here. Most of my troops aren't even in position yet. March forward, men. Their regiment of foot has actually turned, so let's Glorious fall back a little bit soon to be yours. and hit them again. Actually, Napoleon has a bunch of troops just kind of massed in here right in the center. It's hard to tell what's actually going on. My musketeers are opening up from our lines, finally. Although my ally has troops mixed in there. Let's switch to bayonets and go hand to hand. No? My ally's troops are retreating. Let's get in line here and engage the last of the French forces. Last stand right there, and they are broken. It's just a wall of smoke back there. Man, what a volume of fire. Let's run them down and keep our protectorate, our vassal state, safe. Alright, let's just run them down and take our victory. We have won our victory and hopefully pushed the French armies back for a while. Our ally chases them down. 
from here, the rest of the AI nations are going to finish taking their turns, and then it's back to us. To get things started out here, guys, let's see what our notifications are. Recruitment report. Some in Cleves Mark, some in Brandenburg, and some in Hanover. We did lose a duel to an Austrian agent, but we did not actually lose our life. Let's look at our world map here. Okay. We are at war with the Kingdom of Spain, more or less a vassal of Napoleon's France. We are, of course, at war with Napoleon's France and our former allies, the Austrian Empire. Kind of awkward, actually. So, to start things off, let's focus on our work here in the east with Austria. I do have two full stack armies deployed into Austria's territories. We just took uh, Morovia over here, just south of West Prussia for us. Austria still will not accept peace, so... Yeah. We're going to take Galicia in the far east of Austria's empire. Let's go ahead and fight this one out. It looks like we're going to deploy on opposite sides of the town here. They have a little bit of high ground. We don't have a lot to work with, so let's go to the back first. Let's get our cannons. Six pounder foot artillery. Let's put our best two cannons over here in this kind of open area right here. Yes, sir. Actually, right where our general is, I think. Yes, sir. Abteilung. Abteilung. Get our horse out of the way for sure. Yes, sir. Joining them on the far yes, left flank. We're going to do some regiment of foot, musketeers, black Brunswickers line infantry, and more Swiss line infantry. And we'll add a few units of militia to that force there on the left flank. Some militia and musketeers for the center of our army. That leaves us with, let's do Jaegars, our hunters, then on this very slight rise right here, our last cannon, also a six pounder, then Swiss line infantry, Swiss line infantry, and Silesian something, I really can't pronounce that, uh, Schutzen, perhaps? They are elite rifle-armed troops, crack shots, and skilled in skirmish warfare. Nice. All right. We'll get you guys on the end there. Let's put our general in the back. We only have one unit of horse. Let's put them on the far left. All cannons deployed, deployed, deployed. Let's get this battle started. Cannon battery. Focus on their best units, I think. There's a hit. Look at that. Cavalry move left, everybody else just hold. It looks like they're going to push on us, actually.
Swiss line infantry and militia move up the left flank. Oh man. Direct hits right there. Not many losses, but definite hits. Our artillery men are getting much, much more accurate, it looks like. Let's get our riflemen in this house up here. Swiss line infantry go join them. Yeagars go join them. Militia also push up just a bit. Ooh, they're gonna swing left, it looks like. Come back towards our main army. We'll stay a bit more together, I think. Right flank, push up quickly. Good hits again. That's really going to hurt their morale as they try and push on my lines. And here we go. There go our Jaegars with their rifles, picking off troops at a distance. How about canister shots? Just barely within range for canister, let's actually do our right hand cannon canister. There we go. Hits right into their back. Our Jaeger are taking losses. Let's pull them back to this scrub line right here. And here is the charge. And it breaks. Their lines are definitely in complete chaos. Cavalry hit their lines from the side. Oh, they saw it coming. But they still break. 
Let's push on them aggressively. Cavalry break off and chase down this regiment of foot. Glorious victories, huh? Is soon to be yours. Our garrison troops are just kind of clustered, so let's get them out here. Main lines push up. Cannons, hold your fire. We have now flanked their last regiment of foot, which is also their general. Hit him from both streets. Fire any time now. Fine. Bayonet charge. Oh, that broke them. Cavalry come back and run them down. Now you fire. My hope here is that with losing two territories, Austria will be willing to sue for peace. We only lost about 270 of our over 2,000 deployed troops, but we killed 1,500 of the defending Austrian army. Battle stats. Our cavalry ranked up three times with 327 kills. Our Jaegars, 75 kills, not bad. Artillery, 59, 44, and 43 kills, very respectable. Where was that unique unit? Here we go. Silesian Schutzen. 72 kills. And plenty of musketeer line infantry with some good amounts of kills too. We're going to peacefully occupy the territory. And repair the uh, military fortifications there. So, now that we have carved off two sections of Austria's empire for ourselves, will they go for peace? 
We will even give them Transylvania back. Wait. Is that the correct territory? Uh, oh, whoops. I was demanding territory. Galicia. Peace treaty. Okay. How about we give you both of your regions back? Morovia and Galicia. Along with war reparations of 1,000 gold. You declared war on us. Come on now. Alright. They are still not interested. So instead... Let's trade with the Ottoman Empire through our new trade route in Galicia. They agree. And that's going to raise our income by 756, and it will continue to grow as our trade routes grow. There are a few Austrian units down here as well. Austria is at war with, I think, the Ottoman Empire, or no? Yes, yes, they are at war with the Ottoman Empire, so they're having to look to the east, the south, and now the north as well. I really have no idea what Austria is trying here. They're being really just ridiculous. In the meantime, though, we do have some areas to reinforce. We need to get some new armies over here to Cleve's Mark in the west because we are at war with Amsterdam, uh, Holland, which is the Batavian Republic, a vassal of Napoleon's France. He has quite a few of those. I'm going to keep General Ferdinand down here at Hessen Castle and hopefully General uh, Gerhard up here will be able to maintain the line against the Batavian Republic. We'll reinforce him with one unit of fresh musketeers. And I think we'll swap out a unit of normal musketeers from his army for some black Brunswickers. And perhaps we'll give them the Swiss line infantry as well. Cool, there we go. We had some more recruitment over here in Berlin. More musketeers. Let's add them to our army in Hessen Castle. Because France definitely has a couple more armies on the way, even if Napoleon is going to be back in France recuperating for a few months. As far as money goes, while we occupy this Austrian territory of Morovia, we should probably get more troops down here. What could this army use? We've got plenty of cavalry, we have some militia, some line infantry, some light skirmishers, actually a lot of light skirmishers. A whole lot of light skirmishers. We need some more backbone to this army. Line infantry. Two more should do the trick. Oh, we have more in Poland as well. We'll send them down to join our army in Galicia. With 1,800 gold left, I think I will upgrade my marketplace in our home territory of Berlin to a merchant house. 
keep our economy growing because it looks like we have a very long campaign of warfare ahead of us. And just to help things over here in Cleve's Mark. The construction recruit, of colleges whoa, and universities. Quiet you. I'll recruit some more horse. We'll do mounted Jaegars. There we go. <laughs> Only 20 gold left. We've got to upgrade our docks too. Next turn, 3,600 gold, the docks are getting upgraded. That will let us build some uh, larger ships of the line. Alright. One last thing before we end our turn here in early August of 1805. Any more trade options? No. and research and technology. We've almost completed land drainage. Now it's been a few weeks, I'm trying to remember, was I preparing to build a university somewhere else in my territory? I think I was. I just can't remember where. Was it over here in Greater Poland? Do you guys actually remember that? I've got a feeling that was the plan. Let's look at our actual university. It's built on a town so I assume if we bulldoze a separate town, that will allow us to construct that university. For now, I'm going to bulldoze this members club. Seeing we are building a magistrate which adds repression, and a theater, which does the same thing as the members club. We're building all that in the capital, so I think we can use the town for a university. Let's see what the rest of the countries are going to do next. Well, our lines stayed secure for that turn. We are now in late August of 1805, and before I forget, let's go right to our naval port and spend that 3600 to build a commercial port. I'm going to pull our small and weak navy back to protect it, just for now, and add this 38 gun frigate to that navy. Our theater is complete in Poland. And we can now build our college here as well. We'll get that going. And next turn we'll upgrade our theater to an opera house to keep our population happy as that college does stir up clamor for reform. That leaves us a bit strapped for cash, only 876 remaining. I believe I will use it to recruit more troops to reinforce our armies protecting Hessen Castle because there are two very strong French armies approaching. 
Let's get more cannon, I think. Oh, yeah, oh, we actually can't recruit cannon from there. So we'll do light cavalry. And that should do it. Uh, let's see. I can also send some Swiss grenadiers over that way. Let's do that. One unit of Swiss grenadiers to reinforce Hessen Castle. Let's swap out some of this light infantry for our grenadiers. And I'm going to begin our march on Amsterdam. Let's do it. It's looking pretty secure so far. Let's raid this trade route. Advance just a bit further. Okay. I am concerned, though, that this army right here could attack the capital by crossing this bridge right here, and then this bridge, so let's fall back as much as possible towards the capital with this army. And if they besiege it, we will uh, move in quickly. Well, we're definitely out of money again. Ah, uh, here we are. Let's take out these two rogue Austrian armies still left in their old territory. Two sixty-five for our losses. Just doing the auto resolve there. And our general, General Henrich has gotten the confident general trait. Plus one command. Get that line infantry back down there. Let's also send two units of militia back home to Poland to help maintain order. And we'll recruit some actual line infantry for this army in our next turn. And I'm going to send our scout, our spy, west and then east to see what's going on in Austria's territory of Transylvania. And what is this? There is a Russian army in Austria's territory, but I think they're still allied. Okay, they are allies. That's going to do it for this turn. Here we go. We have another incoming French army at Hessen Castle. I'm going to decline the attack for our protectorate and wait until they actually attack the city instead of sallying out to meet them. If we wait until they attack the city proper, we get to use all of the city garrison to help. And there is the siege. It looks like it's time for yet another battle to defend Hesse Castle. Thankfully, we do have a few extra troops this time around. And this should be a pretty good cleanup once again. 
This poor town is under siege once again. They probably just finished clearing out bodies from the last battle. I'm getting deja vu here. The French are more spread out at least. I liked the artillery on this hill last time. Let's do that again. Oops, I uh, keep hitting the unlimber artillery button instead of the run button. Our allies' aggressiveness may come back to bite him this time around. Their general is exposed, but he's going to pull back to their troops pretty quickly here. push too hard. Our allies' general has fallen. Wow, they are really pushing the French lines hard once again. Where did that French general go? I don't even see him. Oh, there he is. Whoa, he's in serious, serious trouble. What a melee. Let's add some more to it. Oh, 
Wow, my ally is flanking a bit here. Cannons focus on their infantry. lines are getting a bit shaky here in the center. They're just moving way too fast for me to keep up with this reinforcement. They are completely encircled right now. And now they are panicking. Okay, and that charges. And that will finish off this French army and what must be our 10th defense of this territory. I'm definitely going to run them down so that they can't just reinforce and come right back. Seeing our army was mainly just assisting for this battle, not a whole lot of notable kills. Some of our hunters got 130, I believe those were the mounted Jaegars. How about the artillery? Not many kills, but plenty of suppression. It is now autumn, early September 1805, and our map has changed to some pretty beautiful fall colors right there. That is a really neat effect. But the weather in Napoleon is not just for show. Winter is coming and we have to plan for it, 
we can't have troops out in the middle of nowhere once the snow starts to fall. With that in mind, let's see. Trait gained, aggressive attacker for our general defending our protectorate, I believe. Unit recruited in Hanover. And we'll send them south. Building constructed, cobbled roads in Brandenburg. Now, where else do we need coupled roads? Actually, I think everywhere. That's actually a good upgrade for this turn, I think. To help with reinforcement, we'll do cobbled roads in Cleves. Does Poland have cobbled roads? Almost. I'm also going to build a supply post here in our new territory of Galatia. That will help reinforce our armies. That militia goes back to Poland. Galatia has no roads. Okay, we'll give them some dirt roads. Neither does Morovia. Ooh, and we have a iron mine that is not being used yet. Let's definitely get that going. In our captured territory here in Morovia, we're in a pretty good situation right here because we have a couple of bridges, sure, but those are the only points that we can be invaded from the south. It is three bridges, but we have just that one main, t main frontier to watch. Our territory is secure, and then to the west, Prague, Bohemia, is a territory belonging to our allies, the Kingdom of Saxony. So we're pretty safe down there. What I'm seeing right now is a lot of Batavian Republic armies. Too many, I think, to try and take Amsterdam right now. Let's fall back to Cleves. We'll get that replenishment going because this army is very battered, actually, from all of this fighting. We'll build a stud farm for our horses in Hanover. And to keep building this second army, I guess we need some cannon from somewhere. It'll have to come all the way from Berlin. Six pounder horse artillery it is. Well guys, that is the state of the Empire of the Black Eagle here in September of 1805. I'm hoping that we might still have a chance for peace with Austria, but if not, I can see a Prussian Empire that stretches from one sea to the next. I will annex their entire empire if I have to, on my way to Napoleon. That will be it for now. Thank you guys as always for watching, and I will catch you all next time.